Now let's go to main register, right? We are done with the power device. We have very tight schedule. I give you a feeling. I hope that you can keep paying attention. It's very hot now and ready so that they can do that. So this is a, a huge, a very uh, profitable area if you have some good idea. Okay. Any questions? Right, but you, this discussion is really good, right? Because you can only ask this question when you understand what I'm talking about. And you only can propose all this night nick uh uh wire right when you understand what this is about now and then also to tell you that uh there is the capacitance issue if you make it large we did not discuss this capacitance capacitance can be large then you are slow right so there's a lot of trade-off Any other questions? Here, just repeat what I just said. Actually, uh, maybe let me erase. I'm a little bit too fast in when I was discussing, right? So here, I just give you one case. Let me erase the purple one. This is the second situation, right? About this nicking path when this is off state, right? This is situation two, right? Here to tell you that uh, and actually here I mean slice 14 because I have changed the slice number. Okay, so this is just another illustration. Okay, so even we have a very nice writing scheme, we still have some problem, but we solve it a little bit. Now we also have a good reading scheme, but still we have the sneaking path or sneak path. So what is the best solution? The best solution is put a C letter, but not good. If you put C letter, it means you need more area, right? But we still need to learn what are the possibility and what are the limits so we can benchmark against, right? Now, the first thing, the middle one, you know already, this is the middle one, resistive memory, right? I drew that to you already. This is top electro, this is bottom electro, and this is half limb dioxide. Okay, and I can program, then you have this one. So one way what we can do is to say that, what if I add a C letter transistor to it? Okay, then that is how you do, right? So for example, if I say I want to read this, right? This is what I want to read. Okay, this is to read. So what should I do? I will put five volt here. When I put five volt and zero volt here, what happened? This all turn off because the gate is at zero volt, right? So they don't contribute to any current. Doesn't matter what I put, right? So I'm going to put, for example, uh, what should I put here? Maybe, uh, Let's say I put a zero volt here, right? All the source nine, I put zero volt. And then I will put five volt here so that you see that now I can read this transistor because this is on just like a wire and this is zero and this is five volt. So here I form a path, I can read the current through this resistor. But then you might say, how about this? Well, they are turned off, right? So they don't contribute to the current. How about this free? For this free, we actually put zero volt because we don't want to select them. We don't want to read them. So if this is zero, this is zero, they don't contribute. Zero, zero, don't contribute. Zero, zero, don't contribute. So I can really read or program a transistor very well. The only problem is I need to add transistor and also add another signal nine. Is that okay? Do you see how we read this one? But this is a perfect scenario. I can select one transistor, one resistor at a time, but it's not good. This defeat the purpose. It looks like even worse 
than a similar to a DRAM, right? In terms of the feature size. So what can we do? Another possibility is add another type of resistor. This one is what where what we want to talk about here. Selector. You see that in terms of fabrication, it is again just a, a device that you can put on top of the resistive memory. So you don't change the size. You see, this is so big, this one, I need a transistor, but here I can still have the same array. The only difference is that between this resistor, I have something called the dial SS cross dial SS structure. And by the way, I think I keep forget, forgetting to tell you, this is called crossbar structure, crossbar, okay? You will see that there's a company called crossbar, I think so resistive memory memory company, a startup. I don't know if they're still there, okay? And I actually knew someone who worked there at that time, but she left also eventually, not success, not that successful, but it's called cross bar. Very simple structure. So how this C letter is going to help us? Let's look at this C letter. All I want you to know is their IV characteristic. This is their IV characteristic. This time I put in linear scale. So you see that when the voltage across the C letter is large, is small, you have very large resistor, resistance. When the voltage across it is small, it is large, then you have a small resistance because you have a lots of current. Now, if I put this guy together with the resistive memory, what will happen? For example, let me buy zero volt, five volt here, right? If the resistance, if read RAM is at, uh, sorry, I should not say that, should not say that, right? If I apply, let's say five volts across this one, okay? And let's say, for example, this is two volt. then I at least will develop maybe 2.1 volt across it because before it is two volt, this is not open circuit, very resistive. So the voltage across the resistive memory may be about, uh, let me use another number because I need to make up something, okay? The voltage of the, the resistive memory is about what? 2.9 volt. In this case, right, you can turn on the resistive memory. It's very, you have a large voltage across it. But what if I use the half voltage scheme, 2.5 volt? Then here will be 2.49 volt because it is so resistive, it's less than three volts. So the voltage across resistive memory is only 0 0.1 volt. No effect. The point is that by adding this selective element in the past, if you look at this one, I apply half VW to it. It filled half VW, then it start degrading. But because of this one, now I apply half VW because of this guy is so resistive, the resistive memory only get 10 millivolt. So basically no voltage across it. Then it solve all this problem. Okay, uh, I, I'm over time, but I, 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 we are, I think we are yeah, just almost done. Okay, uh, we can stop here. Any questions on this slide?
Any other questions? Okay, we, we actually still need to move forward, right? I assume you really understand now, right? If no, uh, let me know. Then we say that uh, sneaking path is not good. We don't like that, right? The best is have me, have, let me have a select transistor, right? So for each resistive memory, we have a select transistor, right? And I show you the scheme. You can derive the scheme yourself, but at least I would, would like that you understand why this scheme works. For example, here, I want to read this transistor. So what do I do? I will bias the gates at five volts and then the drain at five volt or this line at five volt. And then this is zero. Whatever I want to read, I want to, I will bias this free line in this fashion. For all those, all this without the word line at five volt, they turn off the transistor. So they are just open switch. They are not contributing anything. Okay, how far for the transistor on this row? Because I'm not selecting them, so I put zero to them instead of five to the drain. And since it's zero, although you turn this on, this is zero, this is zero, so zero voltage across it, again, it doesn't contribute. So this is a very selective scheme. I can adjust just this transistor easily without affecting by other transistor. And of course the middle one is what we have, the problem we have, but the, the, we really want this because we want it to be compact. If I need to insert a transistor, then it's not as great when I would prefer to use DRAM. Why do I want to use read RAM in that case? Uh, but people come up with something called, let's have a C letter. C letter is sandwiched between this half lim dioxide. I keep saying half lim dioxide, but it can be other material, okay? And the top and bottom electron. It's a special material. And this one will give a symbol like that. The good thing is that this one doesn't change the area. You still have this very nice array. But how does it work? This C letter has this type of IV. It's just like, it's super resistive when the voltage up across it is small. And then after that, it becomes very large. It's a little bit like a center dial, center dial. So how do we understand this? Well, you can do simulation. If not, we just do a simple numerical understanding. Let's say this is the C letter and this is the resistive memory, right? When I try to see it, for example, I put zero volt and five volts across it. It's just like the we, we supply, we get here, 1.5 volt, now I call it five volt, okay? Now, you can, you can have a solution that, okay, so that this one is at 3.5 volt. So this is very conductive when it is, so you only have 3.5 volt drop across here, and then you still have 2.9 volt across here. So then you can set, this resistive memory, right? This is a valid solution. I apply zero volt here, five volt here. This point must be something between zero and five, right? You solve the equation. I just tell you, let's say this is 3.1 volt because when it is larger than three, I have small resistance. I have large current. So then 2.9 volt is across this, so I can program it. But how about for other transistor? For other transistor, this is, this is to, the program one, right? The one you try to program. This is V supply divided by two. This is other transistor, not other transistor, other resistive memory, right? This is like what happened to other cases. They only have V supply divided by two across them. I have V supply divided by two across them. Then this point, right? This point can only have what? We're, we're talking about this point, right? So you must be between zero and 2.5, but can this point be a uh, very small? No, because it's very resistive. So most of the potential drop across it. Let's say it's only 2.49. Then you only have 0.09 across the resistive memory instead of 2.5 volts. 
instead of with supply divided by two. So you have the least disturbance. So this is a very important architecture with this C letter. Any questions? Uh, Professor, are you saying you're applying 2.5 volts and it drops 2.49 across the zener? Yes. Okay. That is because it is very resistive in this region. Imagine what if this is zero current, then all the 2.5 will drop across this one, right? Make sense? Okay, if so open circuit, this will be 2.5. And when you apply five, because it's beyond that three volts, then it, it yeah. does set it. You, if you apply five, then you also say, hey, maybe this is very resistive, so this is five. But then you check this graph, five is very linear, very conductive. So it cannot be five because it's very conductive. You're supposed to have a lot of current. Then, so eventually you, you drop to 3.1 volt. Just a solution, right? You need to solve the circuit so that the current is constant through these two devices. And then you will obey the KVL also. So when you apply high voltage, you will be able to have a small drop in the Zener dial, not normally Zener dial, right? It's a dial access, right? And then if I apply low voltage, most of them will drop across here. Okay, uh, do I answer your question? Yes, thank you. Okay, great, good question, right? Maybe we can have something like this in the exam, if you understand, right? Try to draw some low curve. Okay, now then uh, finally, I just want to talk about then, uh, how do we write it, right? This is just an example. For example, now, I originally store one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bits. The old data is one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one. I want to change it to zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero. Just a new character. Uh, this one might represent a certain ASCII character. This is represented by another, right? You change something, you store the ASCII or your picture, you write a new picture. So there's a good way to do that. What they do is start with so-called reset phase. So I just look at, hey, I need to change, which bit do I need to change from one to zero? Okay. I find that B0, B1, B7 need to be changed. So in that case, I apply V at them and then zero here, the rest are V divided by two. Okay, then I can reset it all at the same time. Do you see that I can do the right thing all at the same time. And you can imagine if I have other bits, I can write multi, multi, uh, multi, multiple word at the same time. Okay, this is for writing, for changing, for resetting, right? And then I also know that, okay, I want to change this two bit from zero to one. Then what do I do? I apply V here and then I put zero here. Then the rest are V divided by two. Then I can reset it from zero to one. How about for B3, B4, B5? They don't change. In that case, I don't touch it. It increased the lifetime of my resistive memory. So by using two step, I finish the writing of one word, eight bit, right? And I can imagine if you're 60 bit, I also do it just two step. You can write it as a whole block very fast. Of course, before that, you need to read it first to know what is there, compare them in the software and then write it. But then that means that too much overhead. So you need to find a balance, okay? And here that's uh, all I want to say, this is just a scheme, but you only under this, understand this scheme if you understand all we have discussed before. How do you write a resistive memory and why 
you use V divided by two and V and zero here. Okay, any questions? Is this one clear? So last time actually, uh, we, we are new faculties, right? Like assistant professor, we usually, every year there will be one professor come to our class and sit for one class and then give comment. Uh, I got a comment saying that, oh, I should, uh, should not uh, give, I mean, finish, I mean, so have so many material until the end, I should leave maybe five minutes for the student to ask question, right? This is a very good comment. But instead of wait until the end, I pause here now, right? I hope you to ask now, right? So you see that asking question is very important, right? If everyone think that we should do it in this way to be effective, right? I put it now, any questions? Is that 100% clear to you for this slide? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, if uh, I can see you guys face to face, I will see you guys. Not